Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho back with another video. Today we have the Qintis Smart PD charging station. Now this charging station is kind of interesting because to me, it kind of charges a lot of different devices for you all in one package and I find that very useful. So the first thing this can do is actually charge laptops. So if your laptop's actually compatible, it can put 65 watts through your laptop, which is useful. But it's obviously the laptop might use more than that if you're like doing intensive tasks, but it's good for a quick charge when you need it. The other thing this can do as well is that it can actually charge your laptop, sorry, your iPad and your cell phones as well. So this thing puts out 30 watts, which is more than enough to charge a laptop because if you're trying to charge a laptop with the traditional like 10 watt charger over here, it's going to be a lot slower. And for the iPads, it takes quite a long time. So this has a built in 30 watt charge that works really well for this. And 30 watts for a cell phone is basically quick charging your cell phone as well. So using the second port is very useful for that. This thing can also quick charge with, um, it's like QC like 3.0. So basically it's good for Android devices as well. And then the last two things it has, is it has just normal USB ports. So if you want to just charge your normal devices through that, it also has that. So this thing can do a lot of things in one small package. And I think that's what makes this product really great. Anyways, let's talk more about like the features and the build. And then yeah, please like and subscribe down below because it really helps my videos out. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments down below. And yeah, let's talk about this. All right, so let's unbox the Smart PD Charging Station IntelliSense. A lot of words to make it sound smart. And yeah, I mean, not really much else to talk about on the packaging, but it has over voltage protection, over current protection, uh, short circuit protection, over temperature protection, and overload protection. So a lot of different protections. And let's get in. All right, let's see, we have a little manual. We have the device over here. A little charging in the back. Got this little shrink wrap. Is there a more elegant way for me to take this off? Nah, just like that. And then in the front we have all the ports. It kind of tells you the recommendations you want already, actually laptop, smartphone, iPads, and then the rest. And then inside we have the cable, which is nice. Let's fold that out. And we have a little station to kind of mount your device. So just like this. So it could just stand up like that on the table. Yeah, so all the contents it comes with is basically one charging cable, the um, brick obviously, and then the charging dock. So any type of cables you need to plug into your devices, you should have your own cables for that. So this device has, as you can see, five different ports, right? And the thing is it puts out 65 watt in the first port for your laptop, right? So there's like a lot of laptops like my own that have a kind of USB-C charging. So you can use this for sure for that and 65 watt. Then we have the second port, which is the kind of mobile devices. So if you didn't know, iPads and cell phones can take up to like, I guess 30 watts is what iPads would be using. But then for your cell phone, it can also take up to 30 watts, which basically means it's quick charging. So you want to use the second port if you want to quick charge your phone or your tablets really quickly. And then the A1 is actually quick charge for like Androids, I guess. And it puts out a total of 30 watts as well from the a1 tab so you can use that for the other devices compatible with that and the last two ones are just plain old usb ports that put out i guess 10 watts at most so i'm going to put the table of kind of the different work outputs that this can do because this thing can put out 65 watts into one port but if you're using multiple ports simultaneously it can't actually put out the maximum amount of power through all those ports or else this thing will most likely like overheat or it probably needs to be like bigger or have a bigger 
um, battery to support all of these at max charging. So they have a kind of table, which I think is really nice to show you how much it puts out and each different configuration that you can use it in. So you can refer to that table to figure out, you know, how, how much power is it putting into your device. So when it comes to the build of the device, it's just mainly plastic. So nothing too fancy. Plastic, the stand is also plastic, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, yeah, how it's made and branding's over here. Anyways, yeah, this device is quite interesting and can do a lot of things and can charge all your devices in one small package. Anyways, please like and subscribe down below. It helps my videos out. And yeah, I make more tech videos so you don't want to miss that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.